What's up YouTube? It's your boy Muhammad back with another video with the channel Mr. Top 10 Cents. And today I'm excited to bring you guys my top picks for a formal occasion. I was going to do a top 10, but when I was doing the list, I realized that a lot of them were niche. And I understand that a lot of people don't want to invest the money in niche, so they stick with the designer. So what I did was I broke it down into two parts. Part one is gonna be a top five designer and part two will be the top five niche. This is gonna be the designer list, all right? So let's get started, guys. Number five, Armani Code Profumo. This right here is real dark, real sweet and sensual. For some reason, when I get those dark, sweeter, ambery fragrances. It always comes to my mind just suited up, formal. This is one of my wife's favorites. She calls this the toasted marshmallow fragrance. Such an amazing fragrance, guys. Such a step up to the original Armani code. Number four, Aqua de Gio Profumo. You guys already know about this. I'm pretty sure you or someone in your family or someone you know has rocked this at some point in their life. The original is the top selling men's fragrance of all time and they amped it up with the patchouli and the incense in here guys. Just an aquatic, fresh, darker and much richer and denser version than the original. Now this is so low on my list, the scent itself is amazing. It would be higher, maybe one or two. But the reason it's so low is because on my skin, if you guys have watched my previous videos, it just doesn't come off as it does to some other people. But overall, an amazing suit and tie fragrance, guys. Number four, Aqua de Gio Profumo. Number three, this is not gonna be a surprise to anybody. This is probably on everybody's list for a formal occasion, but Blue de Chanel, Eau de Parfum. Not much of an introduction needs to be said about this. The grapefruit, the incense, such an upscale scent. Yeah, you get performance issues, but five or six hours to me is amazing, guys. If you love a fragrance, don't worry about what other people say. Don't worry about how many people are wearing it. You can still rock this, and I say best time to wear this is a formal occasion, guys. Number three, Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. All right, here on the number two spot, guys, we got a tie. We got Prada Lome and Prada Lome Intense. Prada Lome, the original, has that the iris and the lavender giving off that soapy, clean, sophisticated scent, which is really a very versatile fragrance. But what's better than smelling clean and fresh suited up? Now, Prada Lome Intense has the same DNA in it, but they amp it up with patchouli and leather and such an amazing scent. If I had to choose one or the other for the scent, it goes to Prada Lome Intense, but versatility has to go for Prada Lome, guys. Two amazing fragrances. Number two spot, Prada Lome, Prada Lome Intense. Before we get to our number one spot, I have an honorable mention for you guys. The reason this was an honorable mention is because I couldn't decide if it was niche or designer. It technically is a niche house, but it's at a designer price point. This is Alexandria's Wasted Moment. Man, this is an impression of Apple Brandy by Killian. I've never smelt by Killian, so I've, I can't give you guys a review and a comparison on how close they smell, but overall, it doesn't matter how close it is to Apple Brandy, guys. This is just an amazing scent regardless. All right, our number one spot. If you guys watched my previous videos and you guys know me or friends with me, you guys will know what my number one fragrance is. And it has to be Valentino Womo Intense. The Dior Ohm Intense Killer. Yes, I stand by it. I'm a Valentino fan. I never liked Dior Homme Intense. It was too lipsticky to me. I, I mean, I really did not like it. I kind of felt like it was too feminine at some points. But Valentina Womo Intense just amped it up and made it beautiful, guys. I have no complaints with this fragrance. It is a 10 out of 10 for me. And the best time to wear it is at a formal occasion, guys. Valentino Womo Intense. All right, guys, well, that wraps up my top five designer list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before I go, I wanna do a giveaway. 
I went to Saks the other day and I bought a few fragrances and I asked them for some Clive Christian samples. So they gave me a few of these two milliliter Clive Christian samples. As you can see here, I have about 12 or 13 assorted fragrances from the Clive Christian line. And I want to give it away to one lucky winner. For you to enter this contest, of course, you have to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and comment below and tell me your top five formal occasion fragrances is. All right, guys? Well, that's it for me. Hope to see you guys in another video. Peace.